Hi everybody, Miss Ashley here with a new cooking video for you. And today we are going to be making zucchini bread. Now I'm sure some of you are like me and you have this like lone zucchini in your fridge and you're like, what am I going to do with this one leftover zucchini? Well, the answer to that question is zucchini bread. And this recipe is coming from our book, Baking Class, Fun Recipes Kids Will Love to Bake by Deanna F. Cook. And you can find it on page 60 under the title, Zombie Zucchini Bread. Now, the reason why she calls it zombie is because you often have these overgrown zucchinis in your garden and you don't know what to do with them because they're so big, they turn into zombies, just keep growing. Well, that's why. That's her explanation for this zombie zucchini bread, but ours will not be that horrific, in theory. <laughs> so the first thing that you need to do is you need to grate your zucchini. I'm playing mix the bowls here. So you need to get yourself a little grater, but I need to grate your zucchini. But before you do anything, make sure you wash your hands. Now mine are already clean, so hopefully yours are when you start. So take your zucchini, you're gonna hold it. You wanna find the big, the big grater here. Maybe parents, if you have small children, don't let them grate, but otherwise, have at her. So take your zucchini, we're just going to grate this. Grate it, grate it, grate it. I grate it over a bowl, that way it catches it. Well, it catches most of it. Who am I kidding? So let's hold this and just grate, grate it. Just make sure you don't like grate your fingers. Make sure your fingers are nicely tucked away. All right, there we go. It smells like grated zucchini. It doesn't take very long to do. Ah. And I always stop when there's a little nub that way I don't get too close because, again, I don't want to shred my finger. So I'm just going to throw this out. And here is my grated zucchini ready to go. And now you need to put a big bowl. You need to put together flour, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, which I have right here. And again, guys, I'm going to link it on the bottom the exact measurements, so don't worry about all of that. So we need to put together the flour, and this calls for one and a half cups of flour, which I've already pre-measured. So plop your one cup in, and then take your half a cup and put that in there as well. And then you need to put in one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. So take one and a half teaspoons one, and then where's your half or half? Put that in. Then you need to put in some baking powder, and that's going to be one teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon baking powder. And then it needs half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon. It's making a mess everywhere. It's okay. Half a teaspoon baking soda. And then we need to put a little bit of salt just to activate these things. Give it one little, there you go. That's good to go. And then we need to stir it. Get my little here and just give it a stir mixing all these dry ingredients together so it's just gonna look a little bit like brown sand give it all uh, incorporate it okay okay so it looks kind of like nicely incorporated brown flowery sand all right Put that over here. And then you're going to need to take two eggs, two eggs, into your bowl. So I'm going to crack them. Get rid 
of one, two, two, and then just if you get any eggshell in it, just try to get it out. Yeah. Wash your hands. Dry your hands. Okay, so now we have cracked our eggs in the bowl, and now we're just gonna whisk it. Just gonna whisk these eggs. Not too vigorously, but just give them a good little, little whisky whisk. says we need to add sugar into the eggs and this recipe is calling for one cup of sugar so take your one cup measurement and just put your sugar in it to add a quarter, half a cup of vegetable oil. So as some of you guys have seen from my previous video, I don't really use the oil, I use applesauce, so I'm gonna do that again. But again, you don't have to do this, you can just use the oil. But, uh, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm gonna put in the oil, my substitute, which is my applesauce. There we go, put you in there. Lovely. And then it wants us to put in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract here. So get your measuring spoons again. We're going to do one and a half. This stuff smells so nice. Oh my goodness, like I, oh, I could just bathe in this. One, and where's my half? Okay. There we go. And then we need to mix this. I'm going to borrow this wooden spoon I had. Give it a little mix. And then we're going to add our zucchini into this once we have mixed. And this should be getting kind of thick. It smells really good. It smells like sugar and vanilla, which is like two of my favorite things. So I'm actually quite excited about this. And then we're going to just take our grated zucchini and we're going to put it into our egg sugar mixola. There you go, get it in there. Okay, and just incorporate it together. Incorporate it. So it kind of looks like gloopy, zucchini, vanilla, sugary, hopefully goodness. So we'll just do that. Okay, and then it says you need to put this goopy mixture into your dry brown cinnamon flour sand. So we are just going to pour it in and kind of slowly mix it, slowly. Mix it, or you can be impatient like me and just dump it in. It's up to you. So we're just gonna do this. It takes a little while just to incorporate because there's a lot of like flour. It all kind of pools in the center. So just kind of keep scraping it down. Oh, some may splash over your bowl. Now I have already preset my oven for 350 degrees. So that's already done. So just set yours before you start baking. That way it comes up to temperature. Okay, there we go. She is all mixed. Okay, so then you wanna get your baking pan. You can do a circle pan, you can do a square pan, but I, 
am going to try a bunt pan. I've never actually used one before, so I thought this would be a good time to do it. And before you put anything into your pan, make sure that you grease it. So I'm going to use my pan spray. I'm going to give it a little, little pan action in there. And then you just need to put this into your pan of choice. So just pour it in. Goopy, goopy. Goopy, goopy. don't really want to leave anything in your bowl. Okay, that looks pretty good. One more scrapey scrapey and we should be good. All right. Yep. Okay, so now it's in your bowl. Ready to go. Press it down a little bit. So then you just want to pop this in the oven and it says to go in the oven for 50 minutes to an hour or until the toothpick you can insert it and if it comes out clean it is done. So I'm going to put this in the oven for an hour and then I will show you the finished product. So you guys hang tight while I get this puppy baked. Okay guys, so the beeper just went off. It's been an hour and my little bunt cake is ready to come out. You gonna help me get it out? So just gotta try and shake it a little bit. Like that, give it a couple of taps. And then flip it over. Ah! <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if this comes out. Ah! Okay, so there is our cake. It's upside down right now. The quickest way to flip it over is to take another plate and then that and um, voila. Okay, so there is our little bunt cake ready to go. Brought to you from this book, Fun Recipes That Kids Will Love to Bake by Deanna F. Cook. And I hope that you enjoy making this. Again, you could make it in any type of pan. I just happen to want to use a bunt pan because I never did before. So this is the end result. And I hope you enjoy it. And I gotta say it does smell really good. So until next time guys, I hope that you stay safe. I hope that you guys wash your hands and I hope that you like and subscribe to Miss Ashley to join the channel for more great songs, stories, crafts, and baking. Take care guys, bye-bye.